drinking water from dew. The idea seems poetic, but to this hydraulic engineer, it's a practical solution to the drinking water crisis in the arid state of Gujarat in northwest India. His system is simple, a big plastic tank on this cool ground. At night, this plastic is maintained at a temperature colder than the air, so the water vapor in the atmosphere transforms into dew drops. The condensation begins here and flows down and along this um, uh, trough and then into this collection pout and then eventually in this storage tank. And here is the result of today's condensation. By accelerating a natural phenomenon, pure water is collected drop by drop through the night, a rare substance whose worth is known to few. Uh, scientists and engineers who deal with water uh, do not deal with dew because they think it's too small to worry about. I now argue and demonstrate that in arid coastal areas that view is incorrect. Dew can be a significant supplementary source of drinking water. Dew is actually the only source of water in the school. On that day, 40 litres were collected. Before, students came to school with their own water and sometimes they went to the village in the afternoon to ask for more. This new method of collecting water can easily be done at home. For the past three years, Girja Sharan's team has been installing dew extractors on the rooftops of houses. At a cost of 200 euros per roof, about 10 litres can be collected in one night. Oh, this is dew water. Just see how fast it is being collected. It uh, requires only a, a gutter system to be uh, installed there, which is not uh, expensive at all, and so that anyone can make it. It's estimated that as many as 800 million people in India don't have direct access to drinking water, like these women who have to go twice a day to the only well in the village. Gathered dew is less abundant, but far more regular than rainwater. And according to its promoters, it can be sold commercially at a third of the normal price. A drop of hope for arid countries.